Happy hour, guys. I'm David Quinn from Asheville, North Carolina, taking this group on tour around this wonderful city that we call home. Welcome back to the Happy Hour, guys, and welcome back to Asheville, North Carolina. Last week, we talked about Asheville's title as Beer City, USA. But one of the biggest reasons that Asheville shares that title is because of a group of people who had the courage to bring life back to their city. Behind me are two of the buildings that Public Interest Project helped put together. These projects brought new businesses, local businesses, residential and condominium development to Asheville back in the 1990s and into 2000. So what's one way to get people interested in your city? How about a world famous music venue? We're here with Pat Whalen. Pat, you're the owner? Yes. What can you tell us about the history of this venue? Well, actually it was built as an armory back in the 50s and then it was a soul club in the 70s for a few years. A lot of people here in Asheville remember that. And then it closed down and it was an auto parts warehouse for 30 years. Sitting right here in downtown. Right in downtown. You guys get world-renowned acts here, yes? Yeah, we've been very blessed with that. We had Bob Dylan, we had the Smashing Pumpkins, did a two-week residency here, <laughs> we had Joe Cocker, we've had all sorts of great people. Wow. I have run a company, another company, that does downtown development work, and we wanted to put a great live music venue in downtown Asheville. And, huh. We knew this building was here, but we thought they were still using their broader parts. We found out they had stopped, and we said, okay, that's going to be the place we put the live music venue, and we did. And I'm sorry you couldn't see it upstairs with the lights on, but no, it's a pretty I mean, spectacular place. I noticed upstairs that you've got a lot of craft beer, a lot of local beer mm -hmm. on tap mm -hmm. uh, for pretty awesome prices. Looks like you guys really support your local brewers. Yeah, I'm sorry about those awesome prices. <laughs> well, Asheville's a great beer town. And so we have to have great local beers here because we have so many great local, you know, brewers. Yeah, so you may as well we got that. a lot of local beers. Cool. And speaking of beer, turns out craft brewing was a big part of this downtown renewal. When did you guys get started here? Uh, 1996. 96. Yeah. And what was downtown Asheville like at that point? Has it, and has it changed? Well, yeah, it's changed a lot. You know, Asheville got hot in the late 90s and into 2000. But back then, it was in the early 90s, 90 when I got here, and a lot of the buildings were boarded. Uh, there was not a lot happening. Uh, hadn't become kind of a more of a alternative music artsy community than it is today. I come from a big city. Neighborhood pubs were where everybody got together. Right. And uh, when I got to Asheville and was looking for a place to have uh, an imperial style like you are. Um, I needed a, a bar where I felt comfortable, and so the opportunity was there. So I said, well, I might as well just build it. You can't find it. Cool. Need something to read while you're enjoying your beer? How about a great downtown bookstore? Malaprops is one of the finest independent bookstores in the region, if not the country. And we'll also show you a fantastic restaurant underneath this building as well. So working with people who cared and working with words like arts, culture, craft, and local, Asheville continues to transform itself into a place that, well, everybody pretty much wants to be. We know we certainly do. So if you get a chance and you're anywhere near the mountains in North Carolina, do yourself a favor and stop on by. Take us home, Dave. So this is part of the renaissance of the downtown Asheville, which beer and culture, arts and entertainment take a lead role in bringing you and hopefully many of you to Asheville to join us and enjoy this fine piece of culture and entertainment in your life.